a sweeping aerial shot of the bustling farm in Manor Lord, with villagers planting seeds and harvesting crops under the bright sun. Hello there, welcome back. This is Zeme. Are you ready to transform your fields into flourishing paradise? Today, we are diving into the heart of Manor Lord to uncover the secrets of successful farming. From choosing the right crops to mastering field management, I will share my top tips to help you cultivate a thriving settlement. Whether you are a greenhorn or a seasoned farmer, this guide is packed with essential strategy to maximize your harvests and keep your villagers happy. So, grab your pitchforks and let's dig into the world of farming like never before. Because every great manor starts with bountiful harvest. Let's get started. When you start new game, you're gonna have multi territory out there. Mostly a new access of this game, we're gonna find about eight territories and that is randomly disappeared and spared that fertility about that territory so let's check and see about the fertility there and this seed we get about three to four land that has a good fertility there the south two three and four four lands five lands which we are lucky on that seed so when we start in our first territory we need and we need to make sure our first territory is really good for farming and it has fertility really green in most of required planets for example and flex here is not much that thing is talk about also and most of them so that one is a bit is of good thing here and we like this has some much more flex area than usual and it is a deep green there also in barely they have a bit of areas that has a barely and we are satisfied about that ray mostly on most territories that has a good fertility is green and that ray should be used in late game if you don't have or you want much more food for your families I may select this one for now and first of all the rarest one mostly become barely and we need to design and select that thing the barely we need to set a fields for that to set that we have two strategy on that one strategy is doing one by one Morgan and about one by one Morgan we can make it squares or triangles as you wish about that but mostly squares is most suspension that one I may do it like that Morgan one by one and that one is also one by one we can stack between one by one or less than that one by one and the final one it should be also one by one this is 0 0.7 morgan but it is a bit of ah uh, we need bigger than what to choose and at least take all green areas out there 
this is much more big one and we need to cancel this one to become one to best fit for all green areas this is about 1.1 the second strategy is to create at least two morgan each one but this one is not working in first axis of this game because and this required a, a research that allowed us to use oxes that can help us boiling the field and the resource and the research should be shown here heavy blow this is we can unlock it by development later on this is two strategy we can use it one but one margin or two at least two margin and more don't go up so up to three four margin because it is really huge and take time to finish and now let's find out the flex areas flex should be here and we're gonna do it one by one we stuck with that because we love do it one by one it is much smaller than and much efficient even in late game it may work well on that and we're gonna explain next steps in that territory one by one one morgan is most efficient area for early mid and late game and we can extend it to be much more that but if we use and occupy it all green fertility so there are no reason to change it to other thing and that is for at least for full season we have at most about 15 to 16 morgans this is blood is blocked for only flex and also we can do that in in barely but we prefer that we should use barely then flex and the last thing thinking of uh, farming weight or ray because they are much huger green islands and icelands and lands on this one we should follow and find out this is for barely and also this is for barely barely and barely this is for flex as we shown it is flex is 86 percent which is really high on that area 84 and 96 and so on that is for selecting our land in order about barely flex then await and now we're going to the how to manage this crops overall to get best efficient gain and it is best practical thing we have here in manor lore in early access so we have about 12 plots each one almost one morgan and we need to use a one strategy which is use as much as we can from this land early on it's mean remove all rotation crops we don't want to do that and only focus on farming what we want from that take all what you can from this land and let it be dry as soon as you can it will not dry in easy way but in wrong run it will be dry 
we can assign like that for about all the year second strategy is it's really easy efficient and me can, can work for long run and just place it one time place your farming house and forget about it which is using rotation rotation is really secret for this game but we need to use it as efficient as we have we have three lines of plots and each line has four plots which mean in total 12 as we mentioned and designed in that thing we gonna assign in first here on first line of plots and second and third deer should be set to be a uh, follow we need this land to be rest in second and third year and in second line we need to assign in first and third year to be follow and second year to be a uh, farming flex as we mentioned this is, is good a good facility for farming flex so we do that for flex and we never ever change it later on and be careful don't mix it with other thing because it will be really bad farming strategy and it will be disaster in the long run and third line we should sign in third tier to be flex only first and second tier should be recovered and flow for insurance our fertility of this land this is how it is work this is list one of three of the efficiency from first strategy but in this way this way you can make sure this lands protect a same amount of resources each years equally we don't think about how much we have and when how much we store about that flex and the shortage it may happen in future especially when we required a much more resources for our families and especially when we protect lenin and create uh, some clothes to get much further in satisfaction of our family this is two strategy we need to care about it in final stage you can delete all lands and only stick with creating long long plots that has more than two three margin margin and keep that really fast to be farmed by using oxes and so on to be like long strategy long plot strategy which we we may not use it as usual but we have to design to show case about that it become like huge area i prefer to design our this is about three margin and the final one is about three margins and the strategy say first year should be flex and rotation second year should be rotation and second year should be in flex and third one should be rotation and third year should be assigned to be flex that is late game strategy and have really efficient way to long term farming and has much better for your family i recommend it to ignore ray ray is useless early on and middle on and if you have any shortage of food in last of your kingdom you can use it but it may take one research which is much much more expensive than food later on 
that's why you can place uh, Imar everywhere it has huge building you can create a full territory to be farm protect only and has so much food and transport this food to other territories which we don't has um, a, a good amount of food uh, remember to avoid staggering from food check my profile in youtube and you're gonna sign some videos about how to get food in manor lord this is a really efficient way i may mention it here in the description below to check it and give a good a way to start your earning food in manor lord and feed your family and we need to be careful about farming farming they has a uh, four stage of farming and each stage is stuck to a uh, season of the year the first season is a uh, spring which has so much uh, frequently raining on that season and mostly it is for plowing progress and your family will be happy with that because it is easy easy pay way and in summer it should be the field should be sealed and soiled with seeds and to be ready to be growing the crops out there but it's possible to be uh, dry years without water in summer and that slowed down your farming efficiency but there are also regulation research on uh, development you can unlock it and avoid the damage from drugs in summer truth in summer so let's keep on going and on the autumns it is harvesting and we're gonna pop up up that and it is for harvesting season and your families start to harvest your fields out there in order which one is finished first it will be harvest first uh, and same kind of bugs your fields will be placed with some of kind of uh, planets in winter should be removed totally but in this game it is still in early access and that doesn't have that option that families come and remove all planets and make it a fertilizing area in the winter so and second thing what we should to do is uh, use three stage of prioritizing which is mean we have to set one line line of that field to be farmed in really high priority and second one should be in middle and keep it like that and third one should be in lowest this is what strategy is working here that's mean in first stage of this strategy our villagers our farmer will start and farming this first four fields if they finish it they're gonna start a second line of the fields also if they finish that fourth and eight lines they're gonna do the last one and early on it is really hard to do that because it is really small fields but uh, we don't have even eight people that can assigned in this farming this farm can take up to eight people and also can join with a plotting station that come from the research and assign a oxes can work in that field but we don't want to use that thing 
because it is not that more for now and later on until we unlock that we can use it in long huge margins about two and above but mostly it is useless because we already blocked all the farming area and place it in efficient way and first attempt of that this is a um, it can handle up to five to six years up until the fails become bad spoil and need to be recovered we can use a fertilization which we are we can keep this farming in a good condition while we assign it to be a furrow which let that area rest for whole the year without planet things but when we add to the fertilization this area to become crossed by a block or wall and our animals will be hatched here and to be growing here in this area and this become much more faster than usual as a uh, vitalized and recovered as and so on it is really efficient way later on to become a uh, really best practical and efficient on farming things in final game stage but it is long away in the research and required about two research to unlock that heavy blow and fertilization and that take me time for that if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe for more trips on mastering manor lord leave a comment below with your own farming strategy or question and we will see you next time see ya